is then you start looking at the, the five pillars of your business. Every business has them. Some are, you know, most businesses have strengths in certain pillars. Uh, but what you do is you look at the attract, right? What do you do to attract? Do you have processes to attract business? Usually that's very creative work. And it's a lot of testing. That's the marketing that people do, right? And that's usually the very creative aspect of what actually happens there is usually very human driven. And there's not a lot of automation around that, but there's automation immediately after that, as soon as it's published or shared with the world in terms of tracking it and following up with those hopefully leads you're generating from it. Then you have convert. And so everything after a track is convert all the way up to the, the sale that you make. And so you look at what do you do in that section of your business? What are the processes involved in conversion? Then fulfillment. Once somebody becomes a lead and then a sale, once they buy, you've made a promise to them. That's why they bought. What do you do to consistently deliver on that promise? And how do you actually fulfill your products, services, whatever it may be that you're selling or combination of? And that usually, if people get good at attracting and converting, that's going to be their problem point right out of the gate. Fulfillment, right? They're going to need, they're, we're going to alleviate the manual time spent fulfilling. And then we can go back to attract, convert, and help improve those and make those better. And that's where most businesses tend to stop. They, they, even good ones, they stop. The great ones don't, but the good ones stop around fulfillment. They don't put a lot of thought in the next two, which is delight and refer. So if you sell anything, you have an opportunity to delight your customers after they've made a purchase. They're also more likely to give you repeat business, so you can delight them with more ways to be involved with you that make sense for them based on what they bought and what you know about them. And then you can also just create a better experience at that stage. And then that's going to lead to more referrals. And that's the freest source of marketing once you've gotten your flywheel of business going is referrals. So if you have a systematic process to make sure that you're asking everyone for referrals, and you have to think about that, and that's unique to each business, but, you know, and it's not as, always as simple as just send me a referral. You have to be strategic and think about why, how do you help people refer you business. And those two, Delight and Refer, have the biggest potential to increase the value of a customer to you, meaning they're generating more revenue and bringing you new business. So we look at those five areas, attract, convert, fulfill, delight, refer, based on that personal activity log that you filled out and your team has filled out, because different people work on different parts of the process. And that's the opportunities for automation, and anywhere that we think a human touch should be inserted or maintained, we make sure that that stays part of the process. 